Word of Mouth Marketing, How Smart Companies Get People Talking About Themselves Author Andy Cernovitz Subtitles by Free Book Summary People love to talk, they talk about products and services, about hair dye, cars, computers, sandwiches, TV shows and floor cleaners, in short, everything they use every day. It could be a casual mention, or a scathing criticism, or a critical remark that they send to the internet, where it will be read by millions of people who don't know if you're worth doing business with. Or they say really nice things. They talk about how they love what you offer, how you're better than the rest, and how nice it is to do business with you. Again, they can neither just tell their neighbors about it or write about it online where their message will be read by the same millions of your potential customers. Word of mouth marketing is effective for any products and services. It's also suitable for your ideas, initiatives, organizations, and anything else if you want people to talk about them. What is word of mouth marketing? The concept of word of mouth marketing takes its foundation from what is known as word of mouth, which is consumers talking to each other without your direct involvement. Word of mouth marketing has two main tasks. You give people a reason to talk about you and you do everything to make sure that this conversation goes in the direction you want without any tension or coercion. In other words, if you want to use word of mouth marketing to your advantage, you need to put forward a thought or idea that will honor a conversation. You are reaching out to the consumer and through them, many others. While traditional word of mouth was fairly spontaneous, nowadays we already have the tools at our disposal to work with. It and track what and how much people are saying about us. There are two types of word of mouth marketing. Organic can amplify. Organic is born naturally through the positive qualities of your company. The company does things so right that people have the urge to praise it. Look at teenagers wearing t-shirts or badges with the names of their favorite rock bands. Notice the people walking down the street with prominent cups of Starbucks coffee. These are great examples of organic word of mouth marketing. Boosted word of mouth marketing is the launch of a special campaign designed to get people talking. Harley Davidson knows that its brand has real and quite active fans. That's why it organizes and sponsors the Harley Owners Group, a club that promotes not only the product but also the lifestyle in particular. Through large-scale gatherings attended by company executives, people may talk about you for three reasons. First, they may simply like what you do. Second, they have good feelings about making the right choices in their lives. And third, they like to talk about belonging to some important or unique consumer group. We all consider Steve Jobs to be the greatest computer marketer in the history of mankind. So what did he do when he returned to Apple in 1996 to bolster the floundering company? Talk about great software, a stable operating system. No, Jobs' great marketing insight was Tink and Purple Computers. Word of mouth marketing is often more about emotion than about the products themselves and their features. People talk about you because they want to look smart, help others, or feel important. However, word of mouth marketing can't always develop and expand indefinitely. You can spoil its development yourself. For example, if you offer people money or prizes for saying good things about you, remember that mixing money with love is usually a bad idea. Word of mouth marketing can also stifle itself if everyone knows about a fact. There is no point in talking about it. A lot of companies offer existing customers a reward for referring people they know. And when I get that email or card from a buddy, I always think, great, you get $50. What's in it for me? A friendly relationship turns into a salesperson interaction with a potential client. Even close friends and family members are less trustworthy if they want to be rewarded for their advice. Word of mouth marketing consists of several elements, which we'll list below and then talk about each in detail. First, speakers who will tell their friends about you. Second, topics what will they talk about. Third, tools how do you help spread the word. Fourth, participation how do you get involved in the conversation. Fifth, tracking what are people saying about you. Word of mouth marketing is only successful. If people trust each other and are honest about what they like and don't like, it can't be faked Without trust it just doesn't work. You can leave comments and post on forums on behalf of the company all you want. But it has to be done the right way. Don't try to leave fake reviews. Do everything in your own name. Make it clear who you are and who you represent. And only say what you really believe. This is sort of the code of integrity of word of mouth marketing. Why is it so important to know about word of mouth marketing? The customer is now at the helm. You're going to have to get used to it. Word of mouth marketing has become a mass medium. 
The first major trend is mass participation. People are writing their reviews online like crazy. They're sharing their thoughts on a particular company, and they don't care at all if they're asked or listened to. As consumers, we no longer rely on the opinions of professional reviewers instead. We listen to the people we know, the millions of people who write reviews, run their own websites, and constantly tell us what they like and don't like. The second trend is mass distribution. Word of mouth instantly spreads in all directions. Word of mouth spreads so fast that you can't even hope to control it. It's also worth remembering that marketing is first and foremost about actions, not words. You are the sum of the actions and emotions of the people who interact with your offerings. You are the customer's impressions of your company. It's not advertising promises that bring success, it's what you do for people. One last thing, word of mouth marketing is the most profitable marketing option. It reduces customer acquisition costs, provides you with free advertising, increased return on traditional advertising, sales productivity, increased leads to new customers, lower service costs, and overall strengthening of your company's brand. The manifesto of word of mouth marketing first things first, ethics above all else, second, satisfied customers are the best advertising, make people happier, three, Marketing is easy. Earn your customers' respect and get their recommendations. They will provide you with marketing for free. Fourth, great service is a great reason to talk. Fifth, marketing is what you do, not what you say. Sixth, negative reviews are your opportunity. Listen to them and draw conclusions. Seventh, the conversation has already started. You have one option. Enter the discussion. Eighth, be interesting or invisible. Ninth, if something is not worth talking about, it is not worth doing. 10th, your company should tell a good story. 11th, a company that you want to talk about is more fun and interesting to work for. 12th, use the power of word of mouth to make companies treat people better. 13th, honest marketing makes more money. ODU in action you need to create a plan for implementing word of mouth marketing. To create your own plan and find your own stew elements, familiarize yourself with each one and understand how you can apply it to your specific case. OTUO is an acronym that describes the core elements of a word of mouth marketing implementation plan speakers. Topics, tools, participation, tracking. There are no ready-made formulas for better word of mouth marketing. Stir and stir until you feel the joyful excitement. That's when you'll realize you've found an idea that will work. You will be talked about if you get the basics right. You can start with the simplest, and it works. Speakers, who will tell their friends about you. Every type of marketing has distribution channels. The distribution channel of word of mouth marketing is ordinary people. Consequently, you need to find the right people to get your message across. To launch a quality word of mouth marketing program, you must first find active speakers and take care of them. This involves creating a communication channel to reach out to them on a regular basis, giving them things to talk about and making sure they are happy and motivated. Your speakers can be more than just your customers. They can also be fanatical fans who never buy anything from you. For example, Ferrari word of mouth marketing is provided by ardent teenagers, sports car fans, journalists and enthusiasts. Speakers don't have to be experts. For word of mouth recommendations, people turn to just as ordinary people with similar needs and lifestyles. Who could you use as speakers? Satisfied customers. To determine if a customer could be a speaker, look for signs of pronounced interest. Look for those who visit often, know the names of your employees, and are enthusiastic. Internet people, look for people who have left a comment about you on some website. These people already have the time and inclination to post reviews, an extra motivation that turns them from customers into speakers. Logo lovers, people wear logos for a very simple reason. They want to show that they are part of your fan base. Make it easy for your customers to ask for an item with a logo on it. Keep track of exactly who is asking. These are very active speakers, loyal employees. Provided your company is good, team members will take pride in their work, and that feeling will be easily transferred to potential customers. Listeners, look for people who want to get information about your company. Those who listen are often the ones who talk the most. Pay attention to your mailing list subscriber lists. These are your active speakers, fans and enthusiasts. Fans who dream of someday breaking into clients can be your most active speakers. Finding such fans is easy. They're blogging these days, professionals, 
A special class of potential speakers who make a living by word of mouth reporters, columnists, critics, professional bloggers, etc. Once you have an idea of the people who are talking about you, narrow down the list. To do this, pick one group of speakers you want to work with. Create a speaker profile I, e. Describe what your speakers typically look like and the reasons they want to talk about you. And then figure out how you might contact them. Speakers feed on information to keep them talking. Feed them. Don't forget to thank them for talking about you. Topics what the talk will be about. Word of mouth always starts with a topic of conversation. If you don't give a topic, people won't talk about you. A word of mouth topic is not a formal marketing message or a formal brand promise. It's a simple message that carves a spark of interest and starts a discussion. The best themes meet three simple requirements. They're simple, organic, and easy to spread. Once you've found a topic, it's too early to relax. You have to constantly improve and stimulate it to keep it meaningful and effective. A successful topic for word-of-mouth marketing should be adhered to, but try to keep it fresh. Remember what looks great in a press release. Booklet or advertisement is not good as a word-of-mouth marketing topic. People don't repeat marketing texts, but don't worry. With a little practice, you'll learn to stop thinking about slogans and start thinking about topics that will be easy to repeat and spread. Tools how to help spread the word. Once you've identified your speakers and found a topic for them, it's time to figure out all the ways you can help spread it faster. Key features of tools that should not be overlooked are speed and portability. It is highly desirable to hit the mainstreams, viral posts, popular blogs and review sites. Tools that work on the web can be considered the most impactful and effective. A few useful tools for spreading the word of mouth. Help the speaker easily share information with two or more people. This is how you empower the speaker. Make sure speakers have plenty of booklets, coupons, and free samples. Always ask to bring two friends instead of one. The classic 2 for one offer is a great word-of-mouth marketing tool. While the speaker is looking for someone to share the offer with, you get bonus word-of-mouth marketing. Make web pages mega viral so it's very easy for users to share links. Consider YouTube's example. Every page on the site has several ways to share a video at once. A share link, ready-made HTML co, and links that automatically send the video to social networks. Look for ways to build word-of-mouth marketing right into your products. Add qualities or features that make spreading word-of-mouth an automatic result of using the product. Achieve a network effect as the pool of users of your pieces expands. The usefulness of them grows exponentially. Skype a free video calling system over the internet is a prime example of this. Think about favorite subscribers, friends lists, group discounts, etc. Pay attention to blogs. In the context of word-of-mouth marketing, blogs are a tool to accelerate the conversation and increase engagement. For your company, a blog is a tool that allows you to post fresh ideas and information. The same goes for online communities, forums, and social media. No word-of-mouth marketing tool has the potential to reach your audience like social media. Get actively involved and don't forget to follow the code of integrity carefully. Another powerful tool of word-of-mouth marketing is exclusivity and personal involvement. When you involve people in the development of a product and make them feel like it's their product, they will immediately want to talk about it. What's more, many are more likely to talk about a product if they have special insider access to it or privilege status. Positive reviews can also be turned into a word-of-mouth marketing tool. It only takes a few simple steps, ask people to talk about their personal experiences, get their permission to quote them, post the testimonials on your website, and link to other positive reviews posted on the web. Participation. How to join the conversation. Word-of-mouth marketing is a dialogue. People talk about you and you respond. Your job is to enter the conversation and make it come alive. Let the people talking interact with you. If you ignore the conversation, you risk to results word-of-mouth marketing will fail or it will become negative. All it takes is a few simple steps to join the conversation. Find a place where people are talking, respond and react, thank those who speak well of you. Solve problems and satisfy customers, show up regularly and participate in the conversation. Keep in mind that being part of the conversation does not imply a sale. It would be wrong to post a sales call on a forum or in a blog comment. This is no different than spamming and will embarrass your company. The purpose of participation is to make the speakers continue to discuss your topic, not to sell a product at all. 
stick to the topic of discussion, it's quite possible that you'll come across negative feedback. In this case, it's worth remembering a few rules, let's call them defense strategies. Remember it's better if the criticism appears on your site, not on hundreds of others. Sometimes the best way to respond is to ask fans to do it for you. Internet conversations happen very quickly. Don't miss the moment. Respond calmly and offer to help. Don't get into a fight, be humane. Write for the sake of future readers. Check the outcome. Do something wonderful for the people criticizing you. Tracking what people are saying about you. By tracking word of mouth about your company, you can accomplish several things at once. Find your public speakers, find out what topics work for you, see if your tools are working, engage in the conversation, and you can use some of the simple ways below to find out exactly what's being said about you. Use online tools, encourage feedback, pay attention to tell a friend templates, use them to help you realize you've got a hot topic. Case study into it. Using Noduo, Intuit has a QuickBooks accounting software product for small companies, and they're masterfully using OTIUO to keep the word-of-mouth marketing going. Typically, accounting software is recommended to clients by accountants, but Intuit realized they had another great group of speakers, small business people, plumbers, designers, hairdressers to have similar accounting problems and help each other with advice. The topic became a natural extension of speaker selection. People started telling their friends, you're not alone. There's a whole community of users who can help solve your accounting issues. The tool Intuit uses is a site called Intuit Community. It's a place where users and future customers can find people similar to themselves and talk about reporting. Each conversation is posted to the public and can be seen by millions of potential customers. Intuit participates by joining the conversation. All Intuit employees are encouraged to answer questions, share ideas, solve problems, and be part of the community. Finally, Intuit tracks word-of-mouth marketing by keeping constant records and organizing ongoing research. The company uses word-of-mouth marketing discussions to learn what works well, where problems occur, how to improve the program, and what to do to keep customers happy. Three stories to ponder. Story 1. You've spent $100,000 on search engine advertising. Your ad pops up next to three competitors' ads on the side of the regular search results. But the second and seventh links led to an angry customer's website and have the headline your brand sucks. How much is your customer acquisition campaign costing you? How much money have you lost? How much of your potential audience will leave because of bad word of mouth to follow the links? In your competitor's ads, how many people went to read the negative reviews? Story 2. You spend $5 million to develop and launch a new product. To grumpy customers post negative reviews on Amazon. They are followed by other negative reviews. It turns out that with 125 comments, the average rating is 1.5 stars, the lowest is 1 star. One of those grumpy customers posts reviews on three other sites. Customers don't come to you anymore. How quickly does this product die? How much development investment was wasted because we weren't prepared for word of mouth? What resonance effect will this have on our other products? Story 3. You pay to send out a mailing to a million addresses of those who you hope have agreed to receive information from you. 1% follow the link and 10% of them buy your product. That's how you get one. Oh, oh new customers. The 10,000 people don't remember authorizing the use of their address. They get angry and decide not to do business with you anymore. And they tell their friends that you spam them. About 2,000 of them were existing customers, and now they're angry at you. Each one tells five friends about it. How many potential customers have you lost forever? Was their potential lifetime value higher than the value of the newly acquired customers? How much revenue did you lose because of departing customers who thought you were spamming? What happens when people start blogging about your spam? And lastly, let us share with you a list of word-of-mouth marketing techniques that we think are truly fail-safe yet simple. 16 Fail-Safe Word-of-Mouth Marketing Techniques Search the internet for people who are talking about you. Give someone an assignment to join the conversation. Start one today. Start a blog. Make a new rule. Ask, will this be talked about? At every meeting, suggest a topic that can be talked about. The topic should be simple. Put out things by the exit that will remind people to tell a friend about you. Invite speakers to sign up for a private newsletter. Choose one easy way to track word of mouth marketing. Place a tell a friend template on every page of your website. Make a special offer in an email that is easy to forward. 
Include a small gift and a word-of-mouth marketing tool in every package of products sold. Have a private sale for speakers. Apologize for mistakes and solve problems. Partner with a charitable organization. Do something unexpected. Be nice. Thank you all for listening to the end. If you liked it, don't forget to rate and subscribe to the channel. You can buy the full version of the book at the link in the description. Thank <laughs> you.